गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स दैट इज ऑक्साइड्स रिमेनिंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स so after that oxides 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 so fifth group elements are react with react with oxygen to form oxides these oxides are two types trioxides 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 and pentoxides trioxides and pentoxide trioxides example n2o3 and pentoxides example n2o5 like that trioxides and pentoxides so trioxide general formula n2o3 pentoxide general formula n2o5 so how now just we'll discuss about oxides of nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth this one so first one first one nitrogen oxides n2o5 n2o4 n2o3 n2o n2 these are the oxides of nitrogen these two are strongly acidic these four are these three are strongly acidic these two oxides nitrous oxide nitric acid these two are neutral oxide these two are neutral oxide after that next one is phosphorus phosphorus oxide is p2o3 it is dimer p4o6 its dimer is p4o6 after that p2o5 that is p4o10 dimer of p2o5 is p4 o10 next one a these two are also acidic these are also acidic in nature acidic in nature after that remaining as2 o3 as2 o3 and then as2 o5 these two are amphoteric in nature these two are amphoteric amphoteric and also sp2 sp2 o3 sp2 o5 this is also amphoteric amphoteric means they have in both acidic and basic nature after that bismuth oxide bi2 o3 bi2 o5 these are basic oxides basic oxide basic oxide so acidic neutral so simply i say i will take so n2o5 n2o4 n2o3 are strongly acidic n2o1 and n2o2 are neutral oxides p2o3 and p2o5 are acidic oxide sp2o3 and sp2o5 are amphoteric oxide as2o3 also as2o3 and sp2 therefore bi2o3 and bi2o bi2o5 are basic oxides so when you observe from top to bottom from top to bottom what happened basic nature gradually decreases basic nature gradually increases i will explain like this so i will take n2o3 p2o3 as2o3 sp2 o3 bi2 o3 five oxides are there these two are acidic nature acidic oxides acidic nature these two are amphoteric amphoteric so what is meant by amphoteric they exhibit both acidic and basic properties because these two are metal oxides and semi metals last one is basic oxide basic oxide therefore 
from nitrogen to bismuthyl is the nature of oxides is the nature of oxides is the nature of oxides gradually decreases gradually decreases basic nature of oxides basic nature of basic nature basic nature of oxides gradually increases increases therefore it is basic oxide just they will ask the questions among these four which one is more elastic this one among these four which one is more basic this one like that. they will ask the questions like that so from n2o3 to bi2o3 basic nature of basic oxides nature elastic nature gradually decreases and basic nature of oxides gradually increases this is about this is about oxides of fifth group elements oxides of fifth group elements after that to that i will give you one question which one is which one is strong basic oxide strong basic oxide they will give bi2o3 bi2o3 next one p2o3 among these two which one is this is acetic oxide this is basic oxide therefore bi2o3 is the answer like that they will ask the questions like which one is strong acetic oxide which one is strong basic oxide like that they will ask the questions after that after that next topic is anomalous properties of anomalous properties of anomalous 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 properties of nitrogen anomalous properties of nitrogen so what are anomalous properties anomalous properties means first element first element can exhibit different properties these properties are called anomalous properties so what are anomalous properties mean first element can exhibit different properties than the remaining elements that properties are called anomalous properties what are the properties anomalous properties of nitrogen what are the different properties of nitrogen we will discuss about nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth fine so first property is it is gas remaining all are solids this is first to different first one second one it has second property nitrogen can form p pi p pi bonds but remaining are form d pi p pi bonds and also and also in between nitrogen there is a triple bond in between nitrogen there is a triple bond so the to break this bond require more energy so therefore it is chemically inert how much of energy is required 9 941.1 kJ per mole this much of energy is required to break this three bonds therefore this is also one of the one of the anomalous property so first one is gas remaining all are solids and it can form p by p by bond remaining all are form d by p by bond so due to a, there is no d orbital in the in the balance cell of nitrogen but remaining phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth are having having d substances in outermost orbit therefore they can form pentahalides this is also one of the anomalous property of nitrogen so nitrogen nitrogen can exhibit different properties why it can exhibit different property because of three reasons small atomic size small atomic size and high electro negativity because of these two reasons the size of nitrogen is 
very small due to that reason that that reason and also high electronegativity high electronegativity nitrogen oxygen and fluorine these elements are considered as high electronegative elements highest electronegative element is fluorine after that oxygen and nitrogen so these are all having highest electronegativity this because of these two reasons nitrogen exhibit different properties these properties are called anomalous properties these properties are called anomalous properties what are the anomalous properties i am already given after that after that compounds of nitrogen we discuss about the compounds of compounds of nitrogen so in this compounds of nitrogen discuss about only two compounds they are they are ammonia first one is ammonia second one is nitric acid nitric acid ammonia formula nh3 nitric acid formula hno3 just we will discuss about about the ammonia and nitric acid only ammonia and nitric acid first we will discuss about the preparation of ammonia preparation of ammonia Preparation of ammonia. So ammonia is prepared by three methods. Three methods. So many methods are there, but we are discussing about three methods here. First one is lab method. Lab method means in laboratory have been prepared. Second one is Haber's process. Haber's process. And third one is cyanamide. Third one is cyanamide process. cyanamide process so what is laboratory method we will discuss one by one so first one laboratory method laboratory lab method or laboratory method so ammonium salts ammonium salts means ammonium chloride on treating with on treating with calcium hydroxide to form to form ammonia ammonia and calcium chloride and some products are formed so we got ammonia this is this is used in the laboratory this is used in the laboratory so this method only used in the laboratory to prepare ammonia so ammonium ammonium chloride on treating with calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide formula caoh taken twice to form ammonia this method is used in the laboratory to prepare ammonia to prepare ammonia this is first preparation method after that second preparation method second preparation method is haber's process haber's process so you know the haber process very important that is so second one is haber's h a b e r s haber's process haber's process so what is haber's process n2 plus 3h2 gives rise to nh3 actually it is a reversible reaction but only we are preparing ammonia just we are actually we are not discussing about the reversible properties that's why just we are preparing ammonia therefore ammonia is prepared actually it is a this reaction takes place from higher volumes higher volumes to higher volumes to lower volumes lower volume and here this is exothermic energy is released exothermic reaction and therefore high pressure and low temperature is required high pressure and low temperature is required for this for this 
permission and also we are using catalyst catalyst so which catalyst is used in this process finely divided iron so for exothermic reaction for exothermic reactions low temperature is favorable low temperature is favorable and it is exothermic exothermic means energy is released therefore low temperature is only favorable and also one more thing the reaction takes place from higher volumes to lower volume higher volumes to lower volume therefore high so pressure is also applied here this is about and also catalyst which catalyst is used so here so many catalysts are used you know, but here catalyst is finely divided iron finely divided iron second one finely divided nickel and also iron ferric iron oxide is also used as catalyst with the traces contain the traces of k2o and sio2 and finely divided osmium or uranium these are also used as catalysts catalyst so finely divided finely divided so finely divided so finely divided iron finely divided nickel finely divided osmium or uranium and ferric hydroxide it contain traces of potassium oxide and silicon dioxide these all are used as catalyst in the kevers process any catalyst can use to manufacture the ammonia manufacturing the ammonia and also the reaction takes place from higher volumes to lower volume and also one of the important point is the molybdenum mbo is used as promoter promoter so what is the functioning of promoter it acts with the it acts with the catalyst the substance which activate the catalyst is called as promoter in haber process the promoter is molybdenum mbo so this is about this is about first first preparation method of ammonia second preparation method of ammonia haber process so haber process is one mole of nitrogen three moles of hydrogen react with each other and form two moles of ammonia plus energy these are the catalyst iron nickel ferric hydroxide osmium or uranium these are all finely divided except this one iron hydroxide it contain traces of potassium oxide and silver silicon dioxide this is about preparation methods after that remaining method is third method is 